Bakugan. I really love it, as you can see by this poster over here. Anyways, hi, I'm Speedy Boy. I'm a War Thunder YouTuber and also an anime YouTuber. And today I'm going to be talking about why I love Bakugan so much and why you should watch it. By the way, you should stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to show you something really cool that I think, well, I think is pretty cool, so I think you guys may enjoy it as well. So anyways, we're going to go over the story of Bakugan first because, well, when you're explaining an anime or just any form of medium to someone, you probably want to tell them the story of it. So, well, for, just to get something out of the way, we're not we're not talking about the new series of Bakugan, we're talking about the old original series, which is universally agreed that it's pr much better than the original. The new one, sorry. The new one's okay, it's just I like the old one more because, well, yeah, the old one was better. So anyways, let's get down to business. The story of Bakugan as well is pretty simple, but also really weird. So it starts off with these cards raining down from the sky. I know, that's pretty stupid, isn't it? But it's kind of funny. Anyways, and all these kids everywhere, they all find it, they all pick up these cards, they're like, huh, free Yu-Gi-Oh cards! Anyway, so then, they pick up the cards, they take them, and they find out they actually have Bakugan inside them. There's basically a little ball about this big. And then they, you know, they start engaging in battles with each other. And by the way, none of the parents realise this is happening. They're just like, Haha, oh look, a cargo plane holding Yu-Gi-Oh cards was shot down by the Israeli Air Force over our country. Ha ha ha. So funny, lol, XD. Anyways, and then, well, we go into the events of Bakugan, which is pretty, well, stupid. It's just, you pick up a card, you get an agent time freeze, which transport you to a different dimension, then you begin to fight each other. Which is what all these kids have been doing, and they all form the gaming community on the internet about, well, you know, the Bakugan series. And then they, you know, they fight each other to get the rank. The actual story of Bakugan itself follows the main character Dan and the Battle Brawlers, as they're called, on their just adventures of playing Bakugan and then saving the universe at the same time by playing Bakugan. So originally, in episode one, we meet Dan. He's, well, average anime main protagonist, but just he's just called Dan. He's n at the first beginning. He's not really interested. He's quite hot-headed. He's quite good. He's quite charismatic too. And eventually, first person he beats in the anime is a guy called what's he called again? I oh, know some fat kid called Billy. Anyways, he wipes the floor of him to say the least. I, mean, I don't know how he managed to pick him up because he's pretty fat. Anyway, anyway, and then, you know. He does his thing, he get, and he gets challenged to a rematch. He's like, oh, okay then. Challenged to a rematch, then he gets transported to a different dimension while being transported to that dimension, and meets Drago. Yeah, Drago's the main character. It's the dragon on here somewhere. It's the red one. I think it's that one. Yeah. Oh, that's the... Yeah, it's that one there, Drago. You'll, there's a picture coming up of him now in somewhere over here. And then... Um, what's that? I need to catch my breath. <laughs> God, I hate asthma. Anyways, when he does, when they meet each other, they like look at each other. It's like, okay. Anyways, then later on, he gets Drago, like as a card, for some reason during the battle. He uses him, and wins the game. He then goes back to doing his thing at home, where he's trying to get Drago to speak because Drago did say something. I don't remember what he said because I haven't watched the series about a week. I completed the whole like thing in a week, so. I don't remember none of it. <laughs> and then, uh, what he does is, he's like, ha, I'm trying to get him open to stand, or what they call it. And then what he does is, and then what he does is, I sound like Boris Johnson now. Oh my god. And, he, and then, he tries to get him to speak, but he doesn't. After a little while, he takes him to school, you know, to show off, like, yo, this is the back of gun I got in school that, that speaks. It's like, yeah, totally. He speaks, try to make him speak. Okay, and then he doesn't speak, and everyone laughs at him. Then he accidentally drops it in front of his teacher. Mm, some things happen after that, but we'll skip to that. Now we're going to the later episodes where this is about episode two or three, and Dan and Drago like sort of become partners in a way. And what they do is they form a partnership to say, "You will help me free destroy, free destroy, and I'll help you become a battle 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 gun brawler." And what happened is. In episode 4, Dr he throws Drago off a fucking bridge because he told him he was bad at the game. Talk about salt! This, oh, your friend tells you you're bad at a game. You're like, oh, fuck you then. No, this man threw his friend off a fucking bridge. 
He then goes back to retrieve him later, but still, he threw him off of a bridge! Later on in the story, all the friends from the Battle Brawlers, they were originally all online friends, they all meet up with each other, and then they form the Battle Brawlers, and then in, see, in Arc 2, I think it is, they start to you know, get with all the Destroyer stuff, but then they find out there's a traitor in their team. I don't believe it! You can't be serious! Are you saying there's a traitor among us? Oh, you gonna do it? Ah! The odds against you, Webmaster Joe! Anyways, I've, I've done talking about story now because I've just forgotten it all. So we can get on to the fight scenes in Bakugan. Now, the fight scenes in Bakugan, are, mm, they're really good. They're really suspenseful, really gripping, in my opinion. Also, they're really fucking brutal for a children's anime. Like, look at, look at this scene. Also, another good thing about the Bakugan fights is actually they're pretty good. They've got pretty good animation as well, so... Despite like the fact it was like 2009, I've moved the camera back still. And uh, despite the fact it's like 2009, 2010, the animation is still pretty good. It, will, it doesn't exactly hold up today because the art style is a little bit outdated. But it does look good in certain scenes. And yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty good. The final thing to mention in the show are the characters. So I'm only going to mention the three main recurring characters of Bakugan. I won't mention the Bakugan themselves. Because they, some of them do change. The only one that doesn't change is really Drago. But here we go. So we've got Dan, firstly, the main character of the show. He's pretty charismatic. Later on in the show, he does learn to become a little bit more level-headed. You know, thanks to Drago and some evolution thingy arc. And, uh, you know, he does become actually a better character by the end of Season 1. Which then transfers into Season 2, 3 and 4. Where he does become more, you know, better as a person. Then we've got... Shunka's army, who is literally the, the edge lord of the group, like he's number one. Everyone can't handle me. Like, look at all. Literally, one of the lines is, "Look at all these pathetic losers who don't know the power of Bakugan." Like, tell me that doesn't sound as edgy, like as possible. Suddenly, one kid in year four who had all the Bakugan with the long hair like this. To, yes, uh, they these kids don't understand the power of the Bakugan I have. I have Helios Mark II and every single ability card. Wah! Anyways, that was my, that was totally not me in year four, and um, the final character is Marucho, who is probably one of my favourite characters because he's funny and he gets paired with the funny character Baku, uh, Prius. And uh, Marucho is just like your typical Asian kid in the way he like he always meets his par parents' expectations. He's really good. He's also really rich as well, and uh, he's basically the reason why the battle brawls exist because he's the one hopping them around in their private in his private VTOL helicopter jet thing. And um, his uh, evolution arc, actually, he actually learns to break away from his parents' expectations and do his own thing, which what which is what he does in season two. Honestly, I'm not going to tell you what he does in season two, because that's season two. But yeah, Dr uh, Marucho is a really good character. Also, shouldn't has become less of an edge lord than to you know get over the loss of his mum as well. I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry, I didn't read the script. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Since you've reached the end of the video, I'm going to show you the cool stuff now. I'm going to show you my balls. My Bakugan balls. What do you think I was going to say? I wasn't going to take off my trousers or anything. Anyway, so the first one we got is... <laughs> um, uh, this version of Drago. I forgot his name. Helix Drago. Yeah, I got him ages ago. It's pretty cool. I'll put this over here for now. Then, I thought it nearly fell off. Then we got this one. This is one of the jumping ones. See, this is actually a spring on the front here, where if you put it into here, it would, uh, like that. Wait, I think you didn't get a good camera angle on that. It would go like this and go. Basically, it'll make the thing go, do a backflip. They always landed, never landed in the same spot as they you rolled them onto. Anyways, this next one I have is, a uh, Darkus Darak, with his battle gear as well. This is obviously from season three because Battle Gear exists. And well, this one really cool in my opinion. Now for the final one. This one's a little bit bigger than the rest of them. It's motherfucking Dragonoid Colossus. Rrr. I'm a dragon. Rrr. He's also got all the uh, stuff on his back. So, you know, all the thingies. He's even, he's even got a tail, which comes off. Oh, I can't get it off. Anyways, well, thank you for watching this video. And, uh, well, please do like and subscribe for more content around just anime in general. And then, um, also please do follow my Instagram at speedyboy underscore az 
for Anime Zone, of course. Also follow my Twitter, link in the description. My anime list is all in the description. Also follow my Twitch, that's also in the description. All my social media is me in the description. It's gonna be at the bottom behind like everything else, including the clip I the clips I used as well. Anyways, thank you for watching and goodbye.